Action potential is the sending of an electronic signal through an axon of a neuron, which is an excitable cell, in order to send a message from the brain to another part of the body. Everything we do is from action potentials being fired throughout our body, triggering a response. The permeability of the cell membrane determines what goes into and out of the cell. It's important to remember that the outside of the cell membrane is positive and the inside of it is negative. When the cell is not sending a signal or has no charge, the voltage is at negative 70 millivolts. This is called the resting membra membrane potential. When the cell is responding to a stimuli, the voltage changes in order to start action potential. There are four stages in creating an action potential. Resting potential, rapid depolarization, repolarization, and hyperpolarization. There are two ions that create this signal in the axon of a cell, sodium and potassium. Sodium is more abundant and rules on the outside of the cell, or the extracellular fluid, and potassium rules on the inside of the cell, or intracellular fluid. Both sodium and potassium have positive charges. There are also voltage-gated channels for each of the ions that allow them to pass in or out of the cell membrane. During the rapid depolarization stage, the activation gate of the sodium channel opens due to the stimulus hitting the threshold of negative 60 millivolts. This creates an influx of sodium ions in the intracellular fluid, which flips the charge of the inside to positive and the outside to negative. In the stage of repolarization, the inactivation gate of the sodium channel closes and the activation gate of the potassium channel opens. This creates an efflux of potassium ions in the extracellular fluid and flips the charge back to positive on the outside and negative on the inside. In the hyperpolarization stage, the potassium ion gates don't close fast enough, which causes leaking of potassium ions or an overshoot at negative 90 millivolts. In order to correct this, the sodium-potassium pump uses ATP to pump two potassium ions back to the inside and three sodium ions back to the outside. This restores the cell back to normal permeability. Potential is an example of positive feedback because it amplifies an original stimulus. The time period from the beginning of action potential to the return of resting state is called the refractory period. The membrane will not respond to additional stimuli normally during the refractory period. Overall, action potential is very important in how our bodies function because it sends signals all over the body that keep us alive.